This is how we're gonna sweep Sierra's team with just one Pokemon. All right, actually, the title could be slightly a lie. There's one caveat, ladies and gentlemen. I think we could do this with just one Pokemon, which is gonna be Alolan Executor. Yes, that is the secret it's revealed already, my friends. We'll talk about that in a second, but here's where the almost lie comes in, let's say. And I know somebody's gonna be upset, but you know what? That's a little bit whack, okay? All we're doing is we're gonna put in this Shadow Swampert right here, Great League level, just to break out the shields. I think to position yourself the best way, and it's got Muddy Water, so we actually lowered the attack of the uh, opponent, which is Lapras right here from Sierra. But again, I think the best way that you're gonna sweep this thing is just break out that shield and then put in your Alolan Executor. So that's still gonna help you guys. You use Alolan Executor and you're about to see the epicness of it. So I debated whether I was gonna still upload this video, you know, because I was like, well, it's not really one Pokemon sweeping it, but it kind of mostly is. I mean, look, we only did that much to the Lapras with the Swampert, so it's not even like it did the majority majority of what you're about to see. The pure destruction is gonna come from Alolan Executor right here. Mine happens to be shiny. We did keep it within the Ultra League, so we kept it within those levels. Anything else in here was Great League. You don't even need to worry about the third Pokemon, because look at this. Alolan Executor using Seed Bomb as the charge move. Man, this move is incredible. I think you guys just basically can remember Seed Bomb just for the future, and we have shown it off in some other episodes, but this is just a really good chance to highlight it. Alolan Executor also in this case, it'll be incredibly weak to ice, so this will not work at all if the Lapras has Frost Breath. So the fact that the Lapras has Water Gun right now, that's very key as well. So this is kind of just that like specific scenario where uh, Executor is going to sweep the whole team, but look at that. I mean, Seed Bomb, we get it charged up, like where we can use it so rapidly. I mean, we've got Bullet Seed as the fast attack for our Alolan Executor, and that is, of course, a good energy generating move as well. It's Grass. We're going to be super effective against the Lapras, and of course, also against the Sharpedo right here. Sharpedo coming out at us, uh, definitely one of those easier middle spot Pokemon, I would say, for Sierra, but this does allow us to show just the magic of sweeping her whole team right here, so check this out. Alolan Executor still on a mad tear. We've got crazy amounts of Seed Bomb, and this is where, actually, the opponent would be, I would say, not particularly optimal for us to be using this, but yet, despite that, we're gonna be doing not very effective damage, yet getting just Seed Bomb after Seed Bomb, and so we're kinda gonna overwhelm it from charge attacks and stuff like that, and so, should it need to be said, you know, we repeat this in basically every Team Go Rocket video. I just know that some people are very new to this process. Maybe they haven't done a Team Go Rocket battle or just didn't know this, but basically every time that you use a charge move or they use a charge move or whenever either of you switches out, that could be manually switching your Pokemon or just fainting. You know, so if you defeat one of them, if they defeat one of yours, the Team Go Rocket side is going to stand still and it's a good valuable about three seconds or so. So that's where you should be charging up energy for your charge move. Notice that, of course, I might have had Seed Bomb and I didn't fire it off just right away. You know, we actually waited for them to get out of that stagnation period. So that's essentially what I call it is they'll be in that stagnation period. And look, again, just as I mentioned, we're sort of stalling them out so that they basically can't attack at all. And even doing not very effective damage, like we'll still take down this Houndoom right here. And it's just nuts, man. So one kind of, I guess, word to the wise is another reason I thought, you know, maybe I wouldn't upload this video. I wasn't sure yet. Not just the title discrepancy, which I've explained. Please don't kill me. But also the Team Go Rocket, I, I'm pretty sure sure that when Niantic announced that uh, starting September 11th, they said that Team Go Rocket was going to be using new Shadow Pokemon. That should also mean that the leaders will change theirs. We don't know yet if Giovanni's going to be part of that, but hey, we'll see. If the leaders do change, of course, any of their lineups anytime, you guys know to come back here, we'll be covering it immediately. So in the meantime, feel free to click an end screen on screen. It'll take you to another video. We've got plenty of them for beating Sierra, so if you're looking to get that Lapras in before September 11th rolls around, no sweat. I'll catch you on one of those vids and thanks for viewing.